Let's get Gucci. All right. Let's say you have a child support order. You have a child support case. And let's say it's $1,500 a month. And you only make $50,000 a year. Between taxes and child support, you're living like a pauper. Now, here's one of the strategies to get to the point of reconsideration. Reconsideration is going back to court and legally having your child support reduced. The simplest way to get reconsideration is to gain more time with the child. That's why you should go for 50-50 if at all possible and if your schedule warrants it. If you're a truck driver and you're on the road all the time, 50-50 is not going to work. So you may have to change careers for you to make 50-50 work. They're going to be very strict about that. They're going to look at you and they're going to look at the mother. Now, let's say you're making $50,000 a year. You have a steady job. You're in town. Your goal is to get custody, physical, let's say, you know, physical and legal custody. Because, you know, a lot of men have physical custody, but they don't have legal custody. And legal custody is the authority making process or part of custody where you can say, this is going to happen. This is not going to happen with the child. And she can't really give you a lot of noise about it. Now, if that doesn't work, because there are many men who have 50-50 and they're still paying a lot of child support. Don't understand it. It is rough. A lot of these judges, especially the older judges, they just want to give mama some money. So here's your second strategy. First thing you do, and in this course, and there, you know, since you took this bundle, you'll have access to the Fat Cat Secret LLCs, how they make you bank. You want to form an LLC. And this is going to be a challenge because for you to really make this work, you need to become self-employed. Or you need to squirrel away some of your income. You're going to have to because as long as you have W-2 income, they're going to go like, he makes this and they're going to carve that money out. And nothing you can do about it. However, you have an LLC, you have a company, you have payroll. Oh my that's a different ball game altogether. That's an extremely different ball game. So you create this LLC and you work hard, okay? Because this is the thing. Because many men who get in these situations, they cram down their life and they don't want to make any money. And that's really the wrong way to go. You want to make as much money as possible and using an LLC can help you protect it. So you go ahead and you get yourself a single member LLC, which is a little risky. Or if you have someone you could trust, like your mother, a brother, or someone, then you put them on the LLC. That makes it a uh, dual member LLC, which really changes the game. So let's say you put your your grandmother on there. Yeah, grandma. And you give your grandmother 95% ownership of the LLC and you retain 5%. Now, you got to be careful because you don't want to mess up grandma's benefits and stuff. So it all depends upon how you do this. So let's say you you bring in $50,000 from your LLC and you discount it and you deduct where your net income is 10 grand. That's what your child support is going to be based on. That $10,000. Now, how do you do this? You put your car in the company name. It's no longer a POV. It's a company car. You put your cell phone in the company name. You put everything that you can, cable, in the company name. Everything. So all of these things that you're paying every month and you do not have any benefit of tax deductions, you can get it. Cable. Uh, Renter's insurance, because that's business insurance. All of these things can be now become deductible. Your high-speed internet becomes a deduction. Your cell phone payment becomes a deduction. Your car insurance, because it is now a corporate vehicle, it becomes a deduction. So you should be able to really deduct a lot, pay no federal taxes, and have like ten dollars to $12,000 of real earnings that your child support is based upon. So you get all that together, and it's probably going to take you some time And then you go back to court and like submit your paperwork and like, hey, this is all I make and this is all I can afford. And based upon that, they're going to reduce it. And this is something else that you do. 
and you stand up in court and you say, Your Honor, I would be willing to take my child more days per week to offset the cost that the mother will incur since she would be getting less child support. I'm perfectly willing to take my child two additional days per week. So what you do is you kind of trap them into it because it's like, yeah, we got to reduce it. Well, okay, because it's supposedly the best interest of the child and the best interest of the child is being with their father. So you can kind of backdoor 50-50. It's powerful stuff. It's very powerful stuff.